For those of you on the replay, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Thanks for any hearts that you give. So my name is Deborah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I am a, a freelance photographer in Dallas, Texas, and I've been shooting uh, quite a bit today. So I wanted to kind of give you an overview of the set and I wanted to you be able to see um, what's going on. So if you're a photographer or aspiring photographer and you'd like to learn a little bit more, uh, you come to the right place. So here we go. Ready? First, I'm going to show you the shot. Okay, so let me get this ready here. So this is what I just got through shooting. Sorry, there's a reflection over here. Let me move a little bit here. This is a shot I just got through shooting. So I want to show you how I did that. There's a reflection here, not part of the shot. So it's coming from the window behind me. Okay, so I'm going to get a little close so you can kind of see. What I'm going to show you is uh, one thing I like to do is I like to try to backlight, even though I'm kind of almost against the wall here, um, I like to create a little rim light here on the product to give a little bit of dimension. So even though I'm shooting, Roger, everybody thanks for joining, I really appreciate it. Um, I try to give a little bit of dimension into my shot. So how did I do that? I'm about to show you, come to Miami. <laughs> I, have come, I have been to Miami before. Uh, it's a great, great city. So okay. Um, I'm using this um, head here that's bouncing into a foam core. See that? It's like a book. I taped, them to, taped it together. There's a seam here. I taped it together. And so I'm bouncing that light into um, the uh, two four by eight panels. Now I'm going to go to camera so you can take a look at that. See how that light is there? And it's, uh, it's creating that rim light that I just showed you on the photograph. I'm going to go right back to it so that way you can understand. That is creating this rim light here. A little bit of separation and you can see you can see that variation just a little bit here and there throughout the product. You have a little bit of it right here as well. Okay. Hey, how's it going Dan? Good to see you. Doing a little tutorial here. So um, going to get right back to it. Thanks for popping in. I really appreciate it. Okay, so here's the product. And I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, while we were setting this up, hey, thanks for joining. Yes, oops, I got caught here. Sorry about that. So we were setting up, even though we're going to try to make this look a mantle shot, I wanted to make sure there was uh, some, hey, <laughs> PTW contest. Hey, thanks a lot. Beautiful. Hi, Deborah. Hi. It's good to see you guys. So um, I did put some separation here between, and it's probably maybe about uh, two feet, okay? Um, and I did that for a reason. I did that so that way I could separate uh, the product a little bit from the hero, which this is our hero that we're shooting. Now I wanna show you how I lit that, um, that wreath. So I had kind of rigged this up because the wall that we have behind here that's on the wreath, weighs about 80 pounds and that is also on a bench it's lifted up okay so since my c-stand <laughs> is there I had to lift my foam core up over the c-stand so I could light that wreath so if you can see I have like I ripped the foam core here and that's casting a shadow here on the wreath you see that so let's see how let's see how it looks like on the shot. My preparation for pictures is say cheese. <laughs> I do that sometimes too. Now take a look at that at the, I'm gonna try to block that reflection. Take a look to see how that, see how that you have some dappling highs and lows there um, on the wreath. So you have a little high, low, a little bit of high, high up here, some lows. So that's create, created by that little rip in the foam core. So, but also, it's so important that you take note of this, okay? I have a bare head, and it's, and, and that, that light, uh, if you, I'm going to wave my hand here so you can see. See, I'm waving my hand. See that? That's because I have that bare, bare bulb hitting the background. See that? It's causing that dappling effect. Okay, and that's how you get that. 
you can't really get that through a box unless you rip off, you rip out your first baffle, okay? So that's why I like to use the bare head so I can get that little bit of dappling, but it doesn't look weird, you know what I mean? It's just a little, a little something. Okay, so that's it. Two lights, one over here, one over here. Um, I got a little bit of fill, but not much. It's just a little bit, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the shot. There you go, sorry about the reflection. That's not part of the shot, okay? Okay, what did I shoot, shoot it at? I shot it at 1 80th of a second, F16, and I was using a zoom lens, so I was at about an 80 millimeter lens on that. Cool, we got our candles lit, got enough separation there. Everything's kind of glowy. See how glowy everything is? It's really nice. And done. Shot's done. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very sweet. So that's it for now. If anybody has any questions, I invite you to go ahead and DM me on Twitter. I'll be happy to answer anything for you that you could uh, uh, possibly need. Um, continuous lighting rather than flash. Um, I, I actually, if you look on some of my other uh, scopes, I actually did a broadcast where I was mixing um, daylight and strobe to make it look like daylight. I think it's really important to try to, to, to achieve that in some point in your career. So that way you can um, understand how to light uh, just about anything in any circumstance. So I invite you to go to my Catch Me account. I showed that information at the very, very, very beginning of this broadcast. It will take you two seconds to, to watch the, the replay on this. So, um, but that's it for me now. Thank you everybody for joining. Thank you for the hearts and the bats. Um, I appreciate it very much. So take care. If I get another, <laughs> don't forget to say cheese, no kidding. So if I get a chance to do another scope before the end of the day, I'll pop in. Um, but if not, thank you for joining. I appreciate you guys. See you next time.